Monday night. Was wondering what was on my head a second ago, but it was something on the screen. Uh, watching Jonathan Creek for the third time, maybe. And sewing on the binding of this quilt. So, here it is. Great, right? This is the back. I meant to take a video of me sewing this on. So you sew it to the front and then you fold it over and make a bunch of little hand stitches to the back, which I quite enjoy. And I would take a video of it, a proper video, but I don't really have a way to to do the camera for that because my rear facing camera has autofocus problems and so I have to use the front facing camera and then I can't see what I'm taking the video of. So here we are. I guess, what if I set you here, in the quilt? You can't even see the stitching then, because it all happens on the side facing me. I took off my thimble. Uh, I want to be using a different thimble. Like, one day I will find the perfect thimble. I like this one that's tipless, but I find that I hit right here. <laughs> do I have other thimbles here? I do. Let's try one of the many other ones. This will be a thimble adventure. many others and just a couple others I think one of these was just like it came with something it came with the house that'd be fun to leave behind a thimble for someone like, what if that was a thing where you had, like, the house thimble? Um, yeah, this is so, this video is perfect. It's everything you could want, I think, in a sewing video, right? Where you see absolutely none of the stitching very little of the person doing the stitching and a bunch of blurry fabric. Well, I'll be honest. What I like from YouTube videos is um, a lack of professionalism or a lack of production quality. I really like videos I don't want them to look like TV. I want them to look like somebody in their home made a video. And uh, therefore you may have figured out that I make videos like the ones I like to watch. It's actually a coincidence. Um, Cause I make videos like, I don't know, for my mom or something. So, okay, here's the problem I'm running into. That thimble is too big. This thimble is already also too big. But I can maybe make this one smaller. I have a smaller one somewhere. Where, you might ask? I don't know. This is a lovely one. You know, this one's leather.
If only I knew where to get some leather. See, right here. Maybe I'll to like... Oh! <gasps> yes! Yes! I unglued it. It's ungluing. I have unglued. Now, I can glue tighter. Okay, that actually just kind of worked. It just kind of still stuck. What if we make this video about making this thimble tighter instead? I like that plan. Hi, watch me sew. Wait, you know what? I got distracted. Watch me drop a thimble on the floor. And then fail to find it. Look, we don't have time for this, and I think my camera is running out of space. And by camera, I mean phone. And by phone, I don't understand how, because I've deleted so many things off of it, and it seems to never delete. So, this is it for now. Sewing on the binding. I'm going to finish it by this week, and wash it, and it's going to be ready a whole week ahead of schedule to give to my mom not this coming weekend, but next weekend. Very excited about that. Excited to see her. Um, I'll probably do another video of other stuff before it's done. Like a like a tour of the quilt, maybe. Anyway, that's it for now.